Francoise, you wrote an open letter to the Pope asking him to change his stance on um, condoms in 2009. Do you feel that the scientific community has a moral responsibility to continue to push for a change in the Church's position? Certainly. I mean, it's part of our responsibility. Scientists, you know, are working to provide uh, tools for prevention or for treatment. Uh, in that case, it was for prevention. We, 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 we have scientific evidence that condoms is, are working. Uh, so we cannot accept that anybody, even the Pope, says that the condoms are not efficient. How That's you, not true. How do you balance this evidence with, you know, really long-standing religious beliefs, things that are very embedded in, you know, morality and in our society? I mean, I think the Church, uh, like everyone, should have an evolution. Uh, and the evolution is the evolution of the society and we have to take into consideration uh, the evolution of uh, behavior, the evolution of uh, uh, the society by itself. That means that we, the, 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 the religion has to be more open um, to, uh, to sexual uh, behavior and uh, to take into consideration all the population. For me, uh, I'm a Catholic myself. Uh, it seems to me that my education as a Catholic was to be tolerant to everybody. On the flip side of that, the Catholic Church is the largest private provider of care to HIV AIDS patients in the world. Um, but I think as we've established, their stance on condoms has been sketchy at best. Do you think there is a fundamental divide in priorities between how scientists are looking for a cure and religion aims to provide care? I don't think religious are providing only care. Uh, I'm traveling myself in a lot of countries. I can see uh, uh, religious taking uh, into consideration poly population, making information. They don't take care of the patient uh, themselves. They, they just uh, make uh, information, counseling, and sometimes they, they, they distribute by themselves a condom, for example, for prevention against HIV to population. Uh, but uh, it's not their role to take care of the patient. It's health professionals that are taking care of patients. That still remains in the hands of the yes. medical professionals, of course. Um, and as someone who's been involved in the research of HIV for many, many years now, uh, what would you say the main focus of research has been? I think this is something that we as lay people don't often think about. You know, we, we're just waiting for the news. Um, but in the scientific community, what has really been the major thrust of research? Oh, self, I mean, I will say first uh, the, the, the development of diagnostic tests and secondly uh, the treatment uh, because of course the treatment we know today it's in addition also prevention. Yeah. Uh, so certainly the two main uh, uh, development that the science delivered all over the years. And now, of course, we're at the stage of the functional cure. That's been the big news of, I would say, the month, if not you know, the first quarter of the year. Uh, how do we move forward from this with a cure strategy? Where do we go? First of all, I would say that we still do not have any functional cure today. Mm. Uh, we are at a stage of uh, research. Uh, we, need, uh, we have a strategy. We have a roadmap uh, that has been defined by uh, a group of experts. Uh, internationally uh, and we have priority for science uh, and it will take time for sure uh, but we uh, already according to the data that we have today we can say that certainly we will have to uh, uh, we will need a, what we call a combined approach not only one treatment will give you a functional cure you will have to combine probably uh, drugs uh, that reactivate the virus, uh, which is latent into the cells, dormant into the cells, and you will have to combine to another treatment in order to eliminate the reactivated cells. So it's certainly a combination of treatment uh, that uh, will be developed when, don't ask me, I don't know. And you've mentioned the importance of you know, uh, understanding a population, understanding how a population behaves. How crucial has it been for scientific medical researchers as well to keep in touch with what's happening on the ground level? 
it's, it's critical. I mean, for scientists, they need to uh, to be in contact with, with the field. They need to be in relationship with uh, with people living with HIV in the field of HIV, with patients themselves. Uh, I think HIV has been one of the first diseases where uh, communities of patients have been working together uh, with uh, scientists, with the health professional, with the doctor, but not only uh, the doctors, the nurses. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole community uh, of people working together since the very beginning of the epidemic. And I must say that myself, today, I will not be able to work without this contact with people living with HIV. You were speaking about HIV cure. Uh, as a scientist, I, I need, and it's the same for my colleague, we need to know what patients are expecting from us. What are they ready to accept or not accept? Our scientific strategy will depend upon them. Thank you, Francois. You're welcome.